Hello everyone, welcome back to B10X channel. Imagine guys, you have Excel data, but you are not sure which chart type is the right for your data. So you can always try using ChatGPT to get the best chart for your data. If you are someone using Excel in your day-to-day -day job, let me tell you something, you are going to be replaced unless you are integrating AI in your Excel. If you integrate AI in your Excel workflow, let me tell you something, you are going to be 10x more productive and you, you will be getting that promotion that you deserve. If you want to learn all this, join me for my 2 hours workshop on Excel using AI. So, this will be the Excel sheet that we'll be seeing today. Okay, and we are asking the chat GPT to recommend the chart. Okay, what are the charts that are best suited for the columns that we are selecting? Okay, and I'll be using the orders tab. And uh, this uh, Excel sheet is available in Kaggle. You can download it. Okay, and we have we have these are the columns like order date uh, and uh, order date, ship date, customer name, country, city, and uh, like region. Mainly there are sales and profit. Okay, so we are asking the chat GPT to give the right data. Okay, so I'll be the sheet has been attached. Okay, whatever the sheet we have seen, it is attached. I'm giving the above attached sheet recommend. The type of data suitable based on the the recommended sheet. Okay, here here also we can choose the charts. Okay, this part based on the recommended charts option. From the order step, okay. Because we will be using mainly from this order step, okay. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. And uh, one more important update, guys. Okay. As you all are aware that A is taking over the world in such a short span of time. We have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI. And you don't want to get affected by this recession wave. So AI won't replace you, but the person using AI will replace your job. So if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our three hours AI tools workshop in which we will teach you about the best AI tools to upskill, increase your productivity and enhance your career. Okay. And make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now. Okay, so if you go to this b10x.in, you will get this uh, link, okay, and go to our workshop. You can see the upcoming workshop, choose the MS office, okay, and uh, you will see the upgraded program over here, when will be the next, and why to join this course, and what you will learn from this details, okay. So don't miss the chance, guys, okay. Now let's go back to our code. Okay, so it is giving the options like the line chart is best and uh, what are the charts that is best for this uh, uh, X sheet it is giving. Okay, so line chart, bar chart, pie chart. Okay, so let's look into this. Okay, let's look few of the examples over here. Okay. And it is giving line chart like uh, order date with sales quantity. Okay, and so go over here insert uh, order date is here okay i'll take the sales and i'll go for the order date you can choose that recommendation whatever it is suggested and if i give over this recommended chart okay so scatter plot is best okay you can go with scatter plot okay and you can go with uh, the line chart you can go with the stacked area chart you can go with clustered column chart okay so for time being i'll be using this line chart because chat gpt also given the same part okay so this is the basic okay if i give okay you will get the portion over here okay so you can choose the background over here whether you want to give the shaded uh, colors over here you can choose the color 
and you can uh, do whatever you want like the layout part and uh, imagine you want to move this chart to whether you want to keep it in this sheet or you want to move to the another sheet that also you can go i'm choosing it for the new sheet okay so like so what it will add it will add this details in the chart 3 our order tab is here it will add over here okay and in addition to that we can do other uh, things also like uh, you want uh, data labels okay since uh, the uh, it is clustered i'm uh, removing it because it may not be able to see and since it is like two months data and uh, that's what it is so clustered okay in the two months every day their sales happen okay so that's the thing it is uh, like uh, looking very clustered if you would have given for two year or one year data the chart will look much more clustered i can clumsy so for uh, that purpose only i took very uh, limited like two months but you can uh, do like you can give each and you can remove some of the data over here and you can uh, uh, do as you wish okay and this is the access titles if you want you can give the access titles and uh, data label as i said and uh, error bars and a trend line okay this will give how the means the sales progressed so that also it will help to understand where are you where are you standing actually where i mean where your business stands okay so that is one and let's go over here okay and the next chart it was uh, suggesting us like uh, uh, what uh, subcategory and profit we can keep okay now it is was there and we'll subcategory and profit i am going insert and um, recommend the charts okay so this is clustered column so that clustered column it is giving average of profit by subcategory this also count of profit by subcategory okay and uh, sum of profit by subcategory this is the overall profit okay since as i said the data everyday data is there that's what it is clustered okay and uh, so by one shot guys it is giving the average of profit the next is count of profit and the sum of profit so you need not to think more okay if you give this option with the help of chat gpt and if you use this uh, uh, recommended sheet option it can help okay that you can do and uh, like uh, what else we can do and uh, like category and profit we can do like category and control button and so only the selected columns will be selected so here clustered column average of profit count of profit sum of profit if you want to check for other chart also you can okay so this is the stacked column and if you want to look for pie pie chart okay go over pie chart and uh, i'm giving okay okay and uh, this will be the pie chart okay for uh, categorical column move chart to the new sheet okay and uh, so this is the way okay so you can add like data labels okay it is clustered okay so that is the part actually and uh, so this is the way guys okay like uh, if you are not aware of what date chart type to choose based on your data you can go with chat gpt and with the help of this insert options also you can uh, uh, select Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this session. Take care. Bye-bye. See you again.